Every night here on Fox 9, we like to take a closer look at the weather along with our weather whiz kids. That's right. Lots of great questions. And as we get to the colder weather, mm. more questions about snow and <laughs> yeah. such. But Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to talk about, about snow coming up. And, oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Director, after the question, I was hoping we could uh, maybe show the, uh, well, we could show the weather app. We'll, let's do it. we'll do it at the end of the show. We'll talk more about it. I want to add, Roland's got a question. See, he's not saying right now, but he wants to know more about the, the snow and the skiers. So we're <laughs> going to talk about that. But this question here is more about me and weather. Here it is. I am Nicholas. I am from Hunter Elementary. How did you become the weatherman? There it is. This is Nicholas. Now, Nicholas asked this question a couple months ago, and we finally got to it. And so, Nicholas, you asked the question, how did I become the weatherman or a meteorologist? So, I will share that with you, and it has to do a lot with schooling. Now, Nicholas is in second grade, uh, learning a lot about math. They're starting, starting to learn math. Well, you have to learn a lot about math when it comes to meteorology. So, when I was in school, I studied mostly mostly math and science. Those are the two main topics. Then, of course, with math, it was on to the higher end math, the physics and the calculus and the thermodynamics and the dynamics and the things that really uh, made me stay awake at night, I guess. And then the science, all that physics that was involved. So a lot of math and physics because meteorology is a research degree. And so it's used not just for being on TV, but researching air quality, uh, hydrology, uh, you know, air pollution, that type of thing. And then long-term climate for climate change. And there's all different kinds of meteorology. That's really how I became a meteorologist was study that. And then I decided, well, let's try television there. And so we can tell everybody what the weather's going to be. So hopefully we're going to be on with what the weather's going to be here. Let's take a look at our weather app. I want to show you uh, our weather app, which helps to track the weather. Here's the way that you can actually do this right here. And uh, this right here is the main interface here. This map can move around. You can just slide this map around. You can slide it off to the left and right here, and you'll find rain. If we show you the Magic Valley here, see this green? There's some rain. This white right here, if you just tap on this white right here, that right there is a uh, winter storm warning. It'll tell you the warnings right in here. So this is your main map that you can track stuff, and you can change the layers up here. For instance, if you hit the this little car right up in here that'll give you road weather and it'll kind of change the radar over to show you where there's fog and all those kinds of things on the other side this is where all the extended forecasts here if you tap right in here the forecast for today for instance the entire screen will change and your forecast is right in the middle of the screen here's your 10-day forecast up here you've got hourly weather down here you can even see everything changing all along the west left border right here so you can check the uh, hourly rate for wind precipitation is headed on in so this is the app that you can get on your side, search that on your mobile phone or your iPad, and you will be connected even when we're not on the air. Roll, Michelle. There we go. Very cool.